Hey guys, welcome to another review. Today it's a bit of um, an out of the way sort of one, shall we say. It's not Star Wars and it's not Transformers. It's actually, it was something somebody spotted in my video. Uh, Fallen Jed one, so look at his channel and all that. Um, and asked me to review it for him, so I am here doing it now. Doing it now. Um, first thing I want to say before I do go on to that though, and it's not a waffle or a tangent, it's nothing at all to go to the blog, so I'm already writing loads for the blog, so you'll have fun watching that, I've already got loads of things planned for it. I have got, received today, Boba Fett, obviously it's only meant to come out in America, you lucky bastards. So um, I ordered that off Play.com, for any of you British people who want to find him, he's on Play.com, and he arrived today and I'm well chuffed, he's... Hellboy, done by Sideshow Collectibles. This is the box. I wasn't going to show you the box, but I thought I might as well because he's actually tied into the box. So, inside, obviously it's him. And a little bio about Hellboy there, covered in dust. Hellboy is in, covered in dust. Um, and obviously, the nice dusty screen. Um, I bought this guy, my girlfriend was asking me, out of all the people I could have chose, like Cronin and Hellboy, why did I choose Abe? My simple reply was, it's on sale. It simply was on sale. It was down from like 30 quid down to about 15. And I said to my dad, I said, can we get it? Why not? It looks cool. So I bought it for myself and then I went home to go do an exam. Fun. So here it is, and I shall now take it out of the box and show you it. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm holding it in such a stable way, it's because when I bought it, it had um, the neck joint that keeps... You take the head off and you put a new one on. Um, came off with the other one. It just literally was already in there. I can't get it out, and I've tried as much as I can, and I'm still attempting it now. But like, let's just say I go, look at this. Yeah, his head falls off. But, you know, it's it's fixable. It's just taken me a while yet. So I will get round to it, obviously, but I've been so busy, so... This is him, obviously, in his nice little human... I suppose when he's going out walking on the streets. His little chill mode. I've got to be really careful with him in case his head falls off. As you can tell, he's already going... Ur, 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 ur. So he can nod. And drop his head. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen, that wasn't actually planned, I apologise about that. So, uh, Sideshow Collectibles doing another great job with this. I love the eyes, although on the actual box itself, the eyes look a bit bluer, like they're submerged in water and stuff, but at the moment, I don't think they're... They're alright, but it looks like it's meant to be like some sort of weird light piping in there, but there isn't. And obviously his um, famously acclaimed toilet bowl. Or toilet seat, or whatever it was in the film. Uh, so yeah, I'll go stick it. I'll take this head off now. Stick the other head on. Damn it. Oh, uh, the one thing I did do right <laughs> when I first bought this was I tried to get the head out, and it's really slippery. And I thought, ew, gooey stuff. No, you have to take the head out underneath and pull. And um, yeah, if you have a look in there is his little ball socket thing. So that's what's meant to come off, but it didn't with mine. It just stayed in. So let's see how well I can do this now. Yeah, there we go. It's got to be a more stable head. So here he is, with a unfalling off head. Uh, I can show you he looks a little less ugly. And he's got these really cool gill things, which are actually see-through, which I think is quite cool. And there's, um, they went into a fair bit of detail on his hands as well. I don't know, oh wait, maybe that hand's better. You can't really see it that well. He's got both of them scrunched up for some unknown reason. He's got, like, all the pores inside, and he's got see-through skin flap things, whatever you call them. Um, so, yeah, do the can-can. Hey! You know. He's got the same articulation as a normal action man, I suppose. He also, underneath all this, uh, has like all of his tattoos and markings, but obviously I don't 
know how to move those. Uh, I don't. The clothes can't be taken off. There's no like points or anything. Da! Uh, somebody at the door. Hey guys, sorry about that. It was um, GMA Achievers. He's on YouTube. He subscribed to me. So if you want to go check him out, he was delivering something for me to get because um, I got 20 subs. He's come and given me something which is really nice. Give me a poster. Which I must admit I opened up, and it's rather fab. Oops, I can't unroll it. It's uh, Transformers Bumblebee and Optimus Pro. So I'm well impressed with that. That's going to go on my Transformers section. So thank you very much, GMA Achievers. That's Will Ace. <laughs> and plays a nice tune too. But yeah, so, back onto this. And I think my camera is going dead, so I will have to slightly rush this. I'm well in a good mood now. I'm well impressed with that. <laughs> so, here it is. Obviously it's got all the articulation and that, and um, ratings, five, five out of ten. I don't know why, it's just, it could be so much more, but it isn't. It's good, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I paid 15 quid for it, but I suppose if you don't collect the whole set, it kind of looks a bit out of place, and at the moment this one looks out of place, because he's sat on top of an alien. So, but you know, he's, I mean, if you can find him... I'd go ahead and pick him up if you're a huge fan of the um, Hellboy series and that. Go ahead and get him. He's played by a gay bloke, as you'll probably be able to tell, because he's like jumping here, there and everywhere and twisting and bending. It's just like, you're gay. You can just, not in an offensive way, I mean, you can literally tell some people are gay. And he's just very, ex he's just bends at points which normal people can't bend. I suppose it's just some sort of weird gay thing. He also comes with a stand. Hellboy. Um, and also other bits to clip him on so he can stand and pose him however you like. But yes, he's a he's a pretty awesome figure. I thought that bit bent, but apparently it doesn't. Hmm. So uh if you can get him, go ahead and get him. But I won't pay more than forty quid for him. Or whatever that is in American dollars. Cause he's good. But there's better things out there, especially for forty dollars or forty quid. You buy quite a cool transformer for that. So um, yeah, that was my review for today. I shall be back on Friday with the Transformers Human Alliance Bumblebee. I hope you all join me for that with my random speech. And then it will probably be Saturday. I shall do my waffle blog or vlog, as GMA Achievers likes to say. Because he pointed out quite rightly, and you know, since I take IT, you would have thought I'd know a vlog and a blog, and I called it a blog, so... Oops. So it should be called a waffle vlog from now on, not a waffle blog. And if I type waffle blog, you'll have the right to kick me in the face until I bleed. Or just tell me off. Preferably not beat me up. So, um, yeah, I've got my Star Wars Legacy Collection Boba Fett, got a poster, and I've done the review. Now I'm going to go to my local store and buy me and my girlfriend a milkshake. See, it's amazing. I'm 18 years old and I, sh I should be going. I'm going to go out now and get completely slashed with my girlfriend. But no, we stay in and drink milkshakes. Nothing wrong with milkshakes. Not going to get drunk off them, though. You can't use them as an excuse to, like, honk a boob or a... But hey... Gotta love the milkshakes. I'm gonna go get a fridge. Chocolate fudge. I think she wanted a chocolate. Did she want a chocolate? I could be in trouble. No, it was chocolate. So I'm gonna go now for a waffle. I uh, hope to see you all back here on Friday.